Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this Fantaseal Hydra stabilizer for your DSLR, your action cameras, a microphone, your mobile phones, GoPros, that sort of thing. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, I'll put a link to this product in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, do your shopping from there. I've also reviewed a couple other great Fantaseal products on my channel as well, so be sure to check out those videos as well. Here's how it's going to come packaged to you straight from Amazon. It looks really nice, great retail box. On the back, they're walking you through the features it has, just a really uh, nice handle. It's lightweight, anti-slide, detachable assistant handle for dual wielding, one hand mode, perfect portable platform with versatile function for DSLR action cam camcorders, tri shoes adapters for attaching video lights, microphones, other accessories, compatible with just about any sort of camcorder or smartphone up to 5.5 inch screens so it looks really nice again there's all the details on the back the link to this is below so you can find out more depending on your questions now let's go ahead and open it up here are all the package contents right here we have your nice user guide we have a nice microfiber cloth we have an allen wrench and some screws we have some different types of adapters for your action cameras right here an action camera to tripod mount or a clip like your GoPro has. We have your smartphone adapter right there. We have another threaded adapter right here to attach all these devices to. Then we have the three core parts of the unit. So let's go ahead now and set everything up. First step, we're gonna slide this handle in right here and then attach the screws to the base to make that secure. Once that side's attached, we're gonna go ahead and slide this in and attach it right here. So I got that side attached, then you take this handle and you slide it in the upwards direction for both of those, they go in just like that. Then we're gonna fix the handle with this knob right here and tighten it down. Next, I went ahead and slid this adapter at the top so now we can mount an accessory to it. You can also see there's room on each side as well to mount other accessories by moving this. But once you get it in there, you can just tighten that down. Then you can adjust this to control if you want this to pivot at all. And then we can go ahead and set something like maybe our smartphone adapter up there as well. And now we'll be good to go to actually start attaching a camera. So I brought this DSLR that we can set up and then try this all out. All right, so I have everything all set up. I got a Nikon DSLR camera on here as well. A couple things I wanted to point out. First, they have a quarter inch threaded hole on the bottom of this receiver as well. So you could attach this directly to a tripod, which is really cool. Second thing I noticed is to really get this tight on here so it does not pivot or come loose, you can tighten this all the way, but you're still gonna have to rotate your camera. So that being said, if you have a lens on it like this, you know, you're gonna hit that and you won't be able to rotate it around. So you'd have to take your lens off and then continue to rotate it. But just be really careful not, um, stripping any sort of threads. I wish it would be a little tighter as it is just using this without having to rotate the camera and whatnot. But you can see I got it pretty tight where it won't shake too much, but there is a possibility that this can come loose and have a little bit of give to it. So keep that in mind if you're in the market to buy this product. The grip is really comfortable though. It's really nice to hold the camera like that. So I think that's really cool. And again, you can put your cell phone up here if you want and you could do you know two recordings that sort of thing so now just for fun we'll go ahead we'll fire up this camera and just kind of record some video of me swinging it around so i have the dslr on right now i'm using one hand to record this oops and it hit my overhead camera now i'm using the other hand to record this we'll swing it around it's really nice really easy you can kind of grip from the bottom here too a little bit if you feel comfortable and confident in that so really enjoying that looks really cool now we'll kind of flip it out and just record a little bit as we move it around and around and around in and out back in and out that sort of thing you can really position it however you want and it's gonna make some great handheld footage for you so it really will do a good job stabilizing that so testing the footage was really easy and simple. Again, it was a nice grip. Just make sure you're aware that this might have a little bit of play for you if you don't really try to tighten this down on there. So if that's a deal breaker for you, you may want to look elsewhere 
If it's not, you definitely want to consider this product. The link to this will be in my video description below. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions, comments, or concerns. If you could go hit that like button for me, hit that subscribe button. I want you guys to be here on my channel for a long time. If you could go ahead and follow me on social media as well, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can message me on WeChat. I would really appreciate that. Check out my website as well. Join my newsletter, guys. Check out my other fantasy videos as well, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.